Um, I, I'm wondering today who, who's watching, who's, who's facing real disappointment, real pain, real discouragement, real confusion, real hurt, real wondering, uh, when is my purpose gonna pick up? When am I gonna actually discover why on earth I'm here? Your values in life determine your stress, determine your success, and determine your salvation. Unclear values cause confusion. They cause confusion in your life. Conflicting values in your life cause tension. Unclear cause confusion. Conflicting values cause tension. False values create deception. And the wrong values create dysfunction. A bad attitude makes you unattractive. It overrides what's on the outside. It's important to look good, to develop your skills, to get an education, but it's even more important to keep a good attitude. Like attracts like. You have to understand, you are a magnet. Whatever you are, that's what you draw to you. If you're negative, you're gonna draw negativity. You positive, you draw positive. You're a kind person, more people are kind to you. So you're like a magnet, you know, and you gotta understand something about like attracts like. If you see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. Live like a warrior so you can die like a legend. Let us fight and fight. Don't surrender. You gotta fight. You gotta live like a warrior. You gotta be in fight mode. Warriors are vigilant. My favorite book says, watch as well as pray. Yeah, you got to watch. You don't wanna go to sleep at the wheel. You got to watch. You don't want to get caught up in the hoopla. Oh, get it done in 21. Yeah, you have the power to get it done in 21, but you got to watch what's going on. Your attitude is going to determine your altitude. It will determine how high or how low you go. Well, Joel, I've always been kind of negative, critical, condescending. That's just who I am. No, that's who you're choosing to be. That's not who you are. That may be how you were raised, but that's not how you have to stay. Try being kind, friendly, good nature. You'll not only enjoy life more, but you'll go further. So forget what can't be changed and focus on the future. Until you learn to do this, you're gonna be unhappy much of your life. Because you hold on to the habits, and you hold on to the hurts and the hangups, and you hold on to the grief, and the guilt and the grudges and that causes so much unhappiness in your life you got to let it go disappointment happens for a whole lot of different reasons yet i think the most basic way that we can define how a disappointment takes place is disappointment is birthed from unmet expectations just because you're facing a disappointment today doesn't mean that you have to live defeated doesn't have to let you believe that your whole entire destiny is delayed and will never ever be reached. No, life is gonna have highs and lows, peaks and troughs. So many people overlook this very simple quality. You don't have to figure it out. That's what freezes people. When you're trying to figure out your life all the way to the end, when you can't figure it out, it freezes you from trying it because you go, oh, well, I can't figure that out. Oh, I can't go over there because I don't know how. You don't have to know how. You have to ask, believe, and receive. And sometimes we're discouraged over what we brought on ourselves. It's not the enemy, it's our attitude. The good news is, all you have to do is make an attitude adjustment. It's not complicated. You can't change other people. You can't change how you were raised. A lot in life we can't control. But one thing we can all control is our attitude. And be vigilant because it's a new place, a new strategy. Stuff's going on. Some we're aware of, a lot of it we don't know. And we got to stay 
and fight mode. Why? Why? You know why I have my pictures of my children there? I, it's not, but I'm 75. I know I got more yesterdays than tomorrow's. I got to stay in fight mode. Why? I, I'm going to finish strong. Are you focusing on all your energies? You have a limited amount of energy. You don't have unlimited energy. Since you don't have unlimited energy, I highly suggest you don't waste any of it on something that you can't change in the past. Why in the world would you give one more second of emotional energy to something that is never going to change? It's done, it's over, it's finished. Your past is past. You gotta let it go. When you're good natured, friendly, opportunity will come your way. People want to do business with people that they like. Maybe it's not some other person you're disappointed. Maybe it's, maybe it's yourself. This is something that I struggle with in quite a massive way is that usually most of my disappointments aren't because of other people. Most of my disappointments in life are because of me. I tend to disappoint myself more than anybody else disappoints me. I, I tend to not live up to my own expectations, to my own standards, to my own values. And I find myself often beating myself up or talking down to myself. And I can find myself at times living in a cloud of disappointment that has nothing to do with anybody else. It has everything to do with the way that I look at myself. It's a major key that most people shy away from. And this is not for everybody. This is not for the faint at heart. People who have no goals and no dreams and okay with living a small life. Don't get anything done with the same mindset, the same relationships, the same vision, no direction, no purpose. They're okay with that. Am I going to live this day negative, sour, seeing the wrong, chip on my shoulder, or am I going to live it in faith, positive, hopeful, seeing the best, being good to people? This is a choice that we have to make every day. If you're going to have a good attitude, you have to do it on purpose because there will be all kinds of negative things that try to creep in. If you're not proactive, if you don't choose the right attitude, then the wrong attitude will show up.